you. Welcome to Geekism. Welcome back to Foundation. Where today I did say we were going to do beer, and we will get on with that. But we do have a little bit of housekeeping. But first of all, uh, from the feedback on the last episode, thank you so much for the feedback. I really am glad that some of you are really engaging with this series because it's uh, genuinely one of my favourite games right now. I have such a good little time in Foundation. First of all, the wall is the wrong way around. Do you know what? I before I put it down, I actually said to myself, "Oh, I have to make sure the wood is on the outside because I made that mistake last series." And then still just put it down like this. Like, I'm <laughs> just an idiot. So, we'll fix that, first of all. So, large stone wall, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, let's get rid of you. Uh, is it control? Yeah, there we go. Pretty much got to take the whole thing back. I there's no way of turning it around, I don't think. Okay, so that is the right way. So, we have to start from down here and take it up that way. There we go. There we are. And then that little stone wall there is the... Uh, is the correct edge there. It gives them an edge to sort of stand on and stuff, I suppose, is the idea. There we go. We'll take it up there. Okay. So, promotion available. We are going to actually look at doing some promo today, so I'm going to pause that for a minute. Uh, yeah. Okay, that, that there doesn't look quite look right. Oops, that really is not right. There we go. Uh, there was a really great article come out today on Rock, Paper, Scissors. Uh, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, sorry, is it? Yeah, where um, about this game. And they, they, they showed off the new UI that they've been working on. Ah, oh, looks so good. It really is the only thing that's holding this game back now. I think with this new UI, I mean, it's rivaling released city games. And we've got to remember, we're still in early access here. Although it does say 1.6 down there, that's the alpha 1.6. I mean, we're still... This is a really starting to become a really little fledged out game. I really hope it does well and starts picking up some uh, some sort of you know mainstream sort of uh, look looking at. I really can't think of words. It's quite early, <laughs> right, soldier? Uh, okay, we'll do a few more uh, of these. So I'm tempted to start working on citizens. But it, we will need a luxury good for them, but we don't have one yet. Sod it. I'm going to do it. Let's get some citizens. Because we need to start working on them to open up this, right? And at the moment, we don't have... the. It's only 10 we need, which isn't which isn't so bad. Uh, where does it tell us that easily? So now we've got four. But we do need to get some luxury good for them. So, personally, I feel the easiest luxury good to make is beer. Because it's... You grow hops... The hops become beer. Like it, that's literally how beer works, right? In real life and in the game. Let's have a look. Where's brewery? So produce beer from wheat. Oh, it's wheat, hop, and water. Okay, so it's hops, but we've got lots of wheat coming in already. This is all wheat up here, and we make we make way too much wheat, don't we? Look, let's have a look. Wheat. We should have loads and loads and loads of it. Uh, Wheat, so we have 150 wheat, and we're currently in a rainfall as well, so we should be fine for wheat. So, where do we build our hops and beer? Because we are pretty, I mean, we can go up here a little bit. We could always stick, we could stick another wheat farm that goes up this hill as well, actually, if we did really want to increase the wheat, the, the weight, the weight of the, the rate of the wheat that is we were. So, because they're the, they're the wheat farms at the minute, all this space up here could totally be another wheat farm just sort of attached onto the windmill here. So, let's do that to make sure we've got enough wheat for the beer as well. Uh, wheat farm. Wheat farm. And there's... The only problem is here, it kind of messes up the entrance ways. But I think if we do something like that... There is no way into it. Okay, so how... Anyway, we turn it around. It just makes the door very high, doesn't it? That's any problem. I mean, that one's a bit more accessible. Should we do that and just call this one a... We could put some barrels in front of it and say it's like a storage thing or something. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do that. When that's built, we'll, we'll tidy that up a little bit. And that just gives us some more wheat. And then I suppose we need to start working the other side of this thing. 
because one, we need to be able to get to this marble here that we've undiscovered that we discovered last episode. Somebody pointed out they haven't actually set that up, so we need that for statues and stuff. Uh, or oh no, no, it was no, it's quartz we're waiting for, isn't it? We've got marble here. Yeah, it's quartz we're looking for. Never mind. We'll keep working on that. But either way, if we want to use this marble, which we should, we have to sort of unlock this area. And then also, as far as the actual sort of city growth goes, we kind of need to come around the river as well. So I'm going to open up... We're oh, going to have to definitely do that one. And then I suppose it's, it's that one. We're not going to get many... Hop farms up there, though. This would be better for hop farms. But that leaves the... Uh, the marble. Mind you, we've got marble coming in. So, yeah, for now, we'll do that one and that one. And we'll have hop farms up the hill. And the brewery. And then we'll begin another little township here. Okay. So, we'll start clearing out some forest with this stuff here. So, we could do with one of these. Um... Oh, no, that's foresters. Sorry, we need lumberjack, don't we? Lumber camp. There we go. Okay, one of you there, and you can start. And you know what? We'll put another one of you in as well. These are temporary. Just going to help us clear out some of the uh, some of the trees. So I'll get started on those. And we basically need at least this area cleared. Ideally, this area. And probably some of this area as well, I think, is the way to go there. And then we'll also start the process of setting up what will become uh, a new little town. It's kind of a shame there's this huge valley here. Maybe this mist needs to be the town here, I think. Uh, so, well, well, well. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a town on the hill. Let's bring the well down so that it's not quite as. Uh, precariously balanced on the on the thing there and um, we definitely need a market as well that one's finished so let's get some people in there and start on a resource zone uh, extraction quickest we can quicker we can get rid of all that quicker we can start brewing up some beer so that area i'm happy to leave those because the houses we we make will will shift those and we'll get rid of this area as well there we go um there we go. These are all temporary woodcutters just to start clearing this space out. So so this is all going to be housing here. So we'll have housing, the river, maybe like a, a river along the, uh, a market along the river could be quite cool. That's something we've not really done before. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll start putting a market in. There we go. So we want food, and do we? We'll have this as as lower class because these are mostly going to be people brewing the beer. I think we need to have come back to this market here and start making sure we're selling the good stuff here where they've got the bigger houses. So, so we'll just put some food. Um, we'll do two food stalls just to make sure you've got some options. And a good stall for clothes, I guess. Just just to make sure that people are happy with that. And we'll just do one of each there. There we go. And then some bits and bobs around the place. And we can do some more of this later on. So food stall here. And maybe I'll just leave it like that. Goods on this side. And then people can come along the river, and that'll look quite cool, I think. And then maybe a, maybe a fence here to kind of help people out. Ah, now also, we, we unlocked this garden masterpiece last time as well. I don't remember if that was on camera or not. That was the, um, I think it was just off camera. It's basically the next monument. So yeah, that's cool. That I, I assumed all the monuments were going to be um, just statues, but this isn't. This is like a, like a garden, which will be perfect for the back of the cathedral, I'm thinking. So, we can totally do something there. And we'll do some benches along here, make it look nice. There we go. And crates there down towards the water. Sure stuff's being stuck around. 
Okay, that's going to be our market. It will look a little silly placed down like that, but once it gets filled out around it, I think that'll actually be pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Let me show you this market. Uh, this goods, sorry, thing. Automated fountain. Uh, yes, we've done that one. So here we go. A fissional garden masterpiece. I don't know if that's just official spelt wrong, but a fissional garden masterpiece uh, will apply soldier recovery. Um, but I was thinking we could do something like that here and kind of tie these things into a garden. So we've got climber plants. Let's have a look. Climber plants, herbs corner, uh, a cool little, little fence, an arch trellis. There we go. It's nice, isn't it? A fountain, a pagoda. Uh, sorry, a pergola, and then lots of lots of things here. Um, that we can sort of place down that look like it's like a herb garden basically it's nice isn't it it keeps telling me the garden piece is is, is available i know it is I'm, I'm literally putting it down now so how about we aim this like it's coming off the back of the building here i know there's no door on the building here but we can definitely put one down so oh, it doesn't give us that much room does it we can come down this way a little bit maybe maybe this has to come i don't know we'll see how we get on so sage and mint, there we go. It's more like a, it's like a herb garden. It's very sweet. And not only does it uh, look cool, it gives us a little buff on the uh, soldiers coming back in as well. Now, it did say there was a corner piece. There we go, herbs corner, is that it? Yeah, there we go. We want a corner piece there. Well, there's a little bit of a gap, I feel. I don't think they would be right up each other. Now, we can kind of put in where the edge of this is going to be, can't we? Because we've got that wall there for now. And I, I feel like that might be enough, actually. We'll bring that around this way. There we go. Yeah, I quite like the fact they're not perfect. So, this pergola is probably a nice way out of that way. There we go. You can go down here into slightly more... Uh, not quite as as neat as this, I guess. And then on this side, we'll just have some uh, some climber plants here. However, we do a little like shoot it out a bit like this. So we go there, um, there, and then a couple that way. Fit them in. Hopefully the, the clipping there doesn't look too bad. There we go. So you've got some climbing plants there, and then along this back wall. So we've got these things. So we let's let's find a nice fountain for the middle. So we know that's in. We've got to have a fountain in the middle there, haven't we? Okay, and then these round ones I think should go here. Yeah, and maybe maybe not so much along the back wall there, those bigger ones. Maybe just a, a mix of... Oh, so they're corners. How do they go? Mm, no, here we go. Sage and mint, there we go. So we'll have some of this here along the back. That way and that way. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is ornamental in as much as I, I, don't, I don't think people are going to come start collecting stuff from here, you know? Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is just for show. There we go. And then we'll have a couple of those on the back. There we go. And then we'll take a path down here in, and using some of these a little bit more sporadically. And then hopefully sort of tie it in with those. And maybe some of the regular plants as well might look quite cool. Um, so it's wood planks, polished stone. Nice and easy one to build that one. Okay, so we'll let them get on with that. Garden Masterpiece is now available. Yes, it is. Uh, wheat farm is completed. Nice. So we'll stick some farmers in there and we'll plant. So what are you at the minute? You are extraction. We'll get rid of you. Plant the crop field here. So you can plant fields all up here, basically. There we go. Get yourself some nice planting space that seems about the right kind of size maybe we'll just follow this line down a little bit more here there we go 
So we missed this year, unfortunately, but that's fine. We can make that work. Uh, this area is not really getting cleaned out. I think the big problem here is it's taken them forever to get over here. They work for five seconds and go home again. But uh, this area is kind of getting cleared, actually. They're doing a pretty good job there. And this market is coming along. Okay, progress. Most of that's done. The garden's in. Looks awesome. Can't wait to carry on with that. We'll definitely move down there later on. But we have more pressing matters right now. The market's finished. Uh, so I've set those up with fish and bread because that's kind of what's over here in the granaries. I've also set up another granary here and a warehouse to start collecting some of this new stuff closer towards the town for other folks as well. And also, I, we'll see when it's finished, but I think it's going to look really cool sort of along the uh, the river there. And I think we'll probably look at like a dock... Um, uh, mod at some point as well and we'll just kind of trim the river here uh, with like dock buildings and some boats and stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, some more fish over here and then the, the foresters here have pretty much done their job. They're, that's awesome. So we're going to fire all of these because we don't want them to stay as wood uh, woodworkers or wood, uh, chopper, wood chopper fellas. Uh, delete and delete. Wow. Thank you for your service, folks. Okay, so now we're going to look at doing hops. So I think hops are going to have to go up the hill. If we have the brewery around here, so hop farm. Let me just double check on this. So we've got wheat. We've got plenty of wheat coming in, and the wheat sits down here currently in this granary. We've got loads of it. Look, no problems there. So we just need to create hops and, and the actual brewery itself, right? So the hop doesn't have a negative area. Does the brewery? Um, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to how this stuff is listed. It's right under the, the, the half there. Brewery is uh, it does have an area of effect. So we want to keep the brewery a little bit further back. Let's have a look. Where's the doors? There's one around the back there. There's one around the front there. So that seems to be the most sensible. If we put that in there, the door at the back is accessible. The door at the front is accessible. Okay. So I'm kind of happy to go with that. Boom. And then we'll do, we'll try two hop farms um, for a brewery. And what these can go a little bit further out, I think. So if we put these here and another one pretty much next door to it. It's kind of crazy. So good how it works on the on the slopes. Look, and just you've got to make sure it looks. Okay, now I know we're just using the path that's already there. We don't necessarily have to, but I like that. That's where, that's where they want to go. That's cool by me. So there's two hop farms and the brewery. A well there. I think the I think the brewery could probably do with its own well. Um, so maybe we'll we'll give the brewery its own well as well, as well as well as well as well. So this warehouse is complete. So the only thing I want to put here right now. I don't know what I want to put here right now, actually. Have I built that completely randomly? Looks... Oh, no. I was going to say, it looks really good on the river, but it doesn't. It's floating. This one looks good. The the work, the granary one fits in nice. There's like a door going out onto the sea there where like boats can throw stuff in. But yeah, not great on that. I, quite honest with you, I can't remember why I built it there anyway. So let's just get rid of it. Okay, so this one, um, you are going to store... Uh, you're going to store beer. You're going to store hops. That's hops. You're going to store hops and and the finished beer product. Yeah. And hopefully that's not too far away for us to then turn uh, this market into selling beer here. So I feel like this market over here should just sell everything really. Right? So it currently sells berries, fish... And clothes, yeah. So this we need to upgrade this market because the, the the citizens won't eat berries. So we've got fish. So they need a bread one. Um, what else do we produce food wise? We produce food, bread. I think that might be it right now. But we will produce beer. Actually, beer is a luxury good, right? So we'll make this a luxury good one over here. Okay. Uh, and we'll do the red one, and then a blue one, and a green one over there. 
Okay. Just going to get them set up and then we'll, we'll look at making them look a little nicer afterwards. Okay, this market. Love this with the with the, the the little fencing along there. That's great. I may even bring the fencing up to match the path. Maybe make more sense. And then once these three are set up here, somebody mentioned another hunter's hut. Probably not being a bad idea, which I, uh, I think is a great suggestion. Because it's just easy storage of meat, right? Have we got many like boars sitting around there? We should do, because I don't think that we can do anything with them. But I bet there's nowhere for them to go, eh? There's 48 boars sat in there. So how about this granary down here also takes on boar? Because I think the tavern uses boar to make big meals. So that we could do is somewhere to store those up. So the next step, I guess, is to put some housing in over here. Once these buildings are complete, my worry is that's going to be a problem and that's going to be a problem, but we'll see. That one looks great down in the valley there. The first hop farm and the brewery's done. The second hop farm is just coming along. So let's put three hop farmers in there. And let's... Uh, oh, actually, let's get rid of the extraction zone there. Now all that wood's gone, pretty much, which is nice. And, and yeah, all this, all this can go. Look at that, it cleared the whole place out. Good job, gang. Good job. And all this can go as well, actually. That's cleared out now. So the main area now is just this. There we go. That's where you can take your trees from. Cool. Right, let's go back to here then and paint the crop field. Now, I, I can't quite remember how much space they require so we'll go in here and we'll see well it's probably going to be similar to the wheat one right and we'll do the same here one two three of you and you can put it up there it's probably about right the hot fields look great they they, they can sit on these little uh picket things they look cool and then the brewer brewer brewer, brewer can go there and now all those jobs are done, so now we're going to put down some residential space. That's what I was waiting for because I really wanted, really wanted people to have a reason to move over here. And all of this can be residential now, and I'm kind of happy to let it go pretty free and easy. There we go. Straight away, somebody's in there. Not the most desirable area, though. We might have to put a little a few trees and stuff there to make it nice. But now they've got space, and I don't. There shouldn't be that many people unemployed now either. Let's have a look. We currently have nobody unemployed. Perfect. So that means we should start getting a bit of an influx of people coming in as well. Nice. Okay, I was kind of expecting a few more houses to pop up here because I've been promoting a lot of serfs. <laughs> um, but I guess they've just been filling into other houses. Like these have all got a bit bigger. Like that one got bigger. Yeah, it's okay. They'll get up there. This can definitely be the next sort of area of expansion. Oh, there's one going in there. Look, right on the on the mound there. This should all be pretty high desirability, shouldn't it? Uh, which one's desirability? Yeah, no, not zoning. Desirability. That one is it. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is all the average, high, low. I mean, it gets low there because of the because the brewery kicks out some fumes. But I've purposely left that as a bit of a gap. So yeah, all this area should be should come flooding in. They're all going around the well. I mean, that kind of makes sense. What does this monk want, eh? What do you want? Ten tools? Yeah, we should be able to do that. Who do we need points for? Estates. So when we get to having ten citizens, we've got to unlock trade bonus, which is 20 that we have. Tax office. Which isn't anything, so that's fine. I think clergy is going to be the big one because we have the we have the um, thingy already, the splendor. But we're going to need 10, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, and we, oh, we have 19 actually. So we're kind of alright for all of them. We need to up the kingdom splendor before we can get the trade bonus. But that's not a big thing. So I mean, I, would, I suppose we'll put some points into clergy. Go for it. Yeah, I, we could kind of start ignoring them now, I think, because there isn't really anything point-wise we need. And that's all you get off those monk ones and the, and the... Sometimes it's a guy on a horse, right? I'm pretty sure the only thing you get from them is, is those points. So. 
How's this going up here? Brewery has begun. We've got wheat and beer, wheat and water there, um, and the hops. Obviously, we're waiting on hops. They're not going to get any hops until another cycle. We're in harvesting phase now, annoyingly, but um, that, that's fine. So the only thing people mentioned is that although jewelry sells quite a lot for 150 gold, um, the people, the the, the citizens of the place will buy jewelry off us as well they will buy jewelry at the market and they will buy it for 150 gold and you can buy gems via trade for like 10 gold or something ridiculous so selling let's find them selling gems for 10 gold that's kind of crazy cheap so i wonder if selling jewelry could be quite a good little way of making some cash now let's have a look at the jewelry process i'm pretty sure it's just gold and gems but it might have to be gold bars Jeweler Workshop produces jewellery from gems and gold bars. Now, we have gold. We have gold. We we are mining gold, I believe. Let's have a look. Um, we have we even we have gold bars, actually. So, we must have a gold smelter somewhere. Is that this guy? Yeah, gold smelter. There we go. So, we have loads of gold bars sat in. So, we could put a jeweller down there. And we could set up one of our workshops to be buying gems so if we have we got somewhere for gems already oh, oh i think we might put them over here mightn't we right that's no good we're gonna we're gonna re, we're gonna empty you and we're gonna put the gems over here there we go and then we'll we'll set it to always have some 20 gems in stock and then if we find them great and if not so buy buy gems until inventory reaches 20 and we'll and we'll see if that's okay and then we'll stick a jewelers down has that got a negative around it no perfect and i i think i feel like the jewelers would go well next to the mining uh next to the gold hut so i might even just stick it on the back of it somewhere the doors there like that, maybe? It kind of puts a big old lump of coal right on the guy's desk. Um, okay, never mind. It's a bit of a silly little building to have on its own. How about how about this guy? This guy here, you are now a jeweler, right? And let's hope the house itself doesn't change too much. We can do that. And again, it's just aesthetic reasons that the house itself won't actually have... A jeweler working it, and then I'm hoping they'll just move this path. Will just start going around there. Should do. And then you need gold. You need storage of gold. You need storage of gems. So here, then, let's set this to also store jewelry. Uh huh. And then we've got a luxury one down here. So we might as well let's set. Oh, that was the wrong button, but that's fine. Let's set this to be jewelry. And then they can buy jewelry from over here, and then we'll we'll set the beer up to be over on this one as the as the prime thing over here. So we've got some surfs, cool. Uh, no more citizens, never mind. It's because probably because we're not providing them with some luxury goods yet, which we sh soon will be. Houses gone up, nice. Three little houses there. These are probably just the people who work in these, I imagine. Let's have a look. You are a hop farmer, yeah. You are a brewer. And what about these ones that, that crept up before? What do you do? You're a farmer, so you go up that way. Yeah, makes sense. There we go. The hot farms have gone in there. How good do they look? And those things. I really like those. There's the. Uh, there's your. There's your screenshot. There's your money shot, folks. Boom. Nice when the when the big rain's not coming down, we could actually get some nice pretty shots. Okay, cool. So beer is set up, not actually purchasing it just yet, actually crafting any of it just yet. There's no beer made because this is our first crop of hops. Crop of hops. But otherwise, we do have actually beer coming in there. We're going to store it there. So let's set up our trade route then. So we're going to keep some in stock. But there's no reason that if we have over 25, you can sell them. We'll keep the hops. 
Um, what else are we producing there that we could start to sell a little? I feel like we've always got a pretty good stock of clothes. Does anyone want to buy clothes? Yeah, you want to buy clothes there. Okay, so we've always got a pretty good stock of clothes. So let's say if we've got over... Oh, it's currently over 100 and we're sitting about 88. I'll leave that at 100 just in case. I don't want to just sell them to make money when people haven't got clothes on their backs. The main one's going to be jewellery. Uh, sell all jewellery above 10. We'll just keep a very low stock of jewellery. Because it's going to be... Uh, there's literally four people at the moment who want to buy jewellery from us in the town. So there's no reason why we can't be selling that as it comes in. It'll just take a little while. Is that done? Oh, that's still getting built. Oh, it's like a nice marble. It's like a nice uh, limestone-y, marbly type looking thing, isn't it? Look at that. I suppose it's got to be a bit classy, hasn't it? It's, uh, it's for jewellery. Okay. Number-wise, we seem to be doing okay. Everyone seems to be pretty happy. Here we go. That's, that's, that's the thing getting finished now, which is cool. You better finish it. Nice. Oops. Uh, so three gems and one gold bar makes a jewellery. Well, we really do have to buy some uh, gems. Oh, we can have two people in there. That's cool. And are you are you going through or are you going round? You've started to go around that way. That's a little annoying. I was hoping you just kind of cut this way. They do seem to, re to prefer using paths that are there rather than and making their own, you know. So you do kind of get stuck sometimes with some silly... Silly pathing options. I was kind of hoping they would just kind of skim around this way, but never mind. They will start producing jewellery. Now, I notice here cheese being shown as one as well, and we don't have cheese set up yet, so we could do cheese. Cheese is cows. So I suppose we could... We could maybe make the, the farm up here a bit better, rather than just like dumping them. If we start to use some fencing to kind of make it look like we've got set farms. Because there's a fair bit of space here. Whereas if we put... I, I feel like the, the cow farms have got an area of negativity around them. Let's have a look. Um, sheep farm. Blah, 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 blah. Dairy farm. Yeah, the, the actual farm has. But as long as we put that like away here, the, the cows can sort of spread... Sorry for knocking the microphone. The cows can spread down that way. And I, I think that's it. Cheesemaker, it just goes dairy to cheesemaker, produces cheese from milk, dairy farm produces milk. And the cheesemaker doesn't have a negativity around them. So we can stick one of those down in one of these little gaps here that, that isn't very uh, nice looking. Like here would be would make a good cheesemaker, I think. Again, it would kind of block off that path, but I don't mind that. Okay, but we will we will work on making the cheese in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one. Be good.